Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the look and uh, personal observations and small review of the latest build of Windows 10 which is Windows 10 build 14936 and it was released today September 28th 2016. About a week now after we had a insider preview we have a new one available it was released today approximately around 1.25 p.m. or some around there and of course uh, jumped immediately on the insider machine to install it so uh, the install went super well it took about 45 minutes I would say in total uh, I looked at the clock I don't usually look much at the clock so I, I, di I did look at the clock from the moment that I clicked uh, the um, install or the restart button so it started to install about 40 45 minutes I'd say it's typical for this machine you know this machine has an old hard drive and it's not uh, the fastest machine in the world so it's uh, it's it's a good time of install basically um, after the install of course that went super well no crashes no blue screen we have uh, this we came to this desktop um, and of course today we're going to talk about what's uh, new not much once again uh, the problems and the good the things that were fixed uh, so um, and also talk a little bit more about um, some of the news from um, the uh, Ignite Microsoft Ignite where we learned a little bit more about Windows 10 and the updates and when you know Redstone 2 and all of that so basically um, it is uh, first of all a um, operating system that works really well I've been using it as my main computer for the past what at least the past four hours uh, right right after the install started uh, it was ended I um, just came here and it um, hasn't crashed hasn't had any issues seems to work really really well so what are the features in this uh, new version well not a lot um, one of the things that is new is um, the fact that if you go to the web page for um, Windows or Microsoft Edge extensions so Edge extensions um, there's the extensions for Edge in the Microsoft Edge development page uh, these are not available through the Windows Store right now uh, basically they uh, have had it a few things apparently um, they have uh, had it so I don't see them here but apparently there are a few new things one about um, maybe it's because I'm Canada uh, one is um, a extension for um, shopping assistant it's a Microsoft personal shopping assistant and there's another one that's called temper monkey which is a user script manager that allows you to customize the pages you see on the web and finally there's another one with another one which is turn off the lights uh, a lightweight and useful add-in designed for a more comfortable video experience so um, you need to be in the fast ring and you need to, to test it out but I don't see them uh, I've um, been checking out um, the Windows Store and the uh, developer page and here it doesn't seem to show these extensions right now so um, not sure about this or if uh, anyone else can get it but maybe in the United States only um, the other thing is if you are a bash user uh, bash is the uh, Windows Linux subsystem bash on Ubuntu uh, that's available in the uh, insider previews has been updated so if you are uh, using the bash command now if you already are using it and it was pre-installed it did not update you are still on uh, Ubuntu 14.04 what you need to do is issue a command that is um, the do dash release dash upgrade so um, once you do that command line and press enter you'll see that it wants to fetch packages 
So it's checking for a new Ubuntu release and it's going to want to install the packages to your computer. Now I tried it twice and in my case it failed on the bash install. So um, I don't know, I'll try to see if there's another way to install it. I haven't checked out all the possibilities. But that will bring your bash command line to 16.04 which is Xenial. So uh, that's pretty much what we know um, about the new stuff. For the rest, uh, there doesn't seem to be really any new features per se. Um, what's good and what's wrong with this version? Well, we know that they fixed uh, issues causing narrator to continually speak the progress of a song. So it was always saying the time in Groove Music. They fixed an issue where the tab key navigation and settings didn't work. Uh, you know, we, for those that are used to uh, using a PC, you know that if you don't have any mouse, you can use a tab key to navigate through the system. Now, this feature didn't work well in uh, this uh, version, the last few versions, by the way. And now you see that I can go through the different menus and change the settings. So this now is back. They fixed uh, an issue resulting in explorer.exe frequently crashing for some insiders, uh, particularly for those with multiple network switches. So there's something wrong there. And a lot of you have been mentioning that explorer.exe was crashing all the time. I haven't had any of these issues here on my uh, computer. Um, there are known issues, of course, uh, optional components still not working. So you'll have to go to turn windows features on or off. Scroll down uh, and check the right optional component that you want and install it again and it should be okay. And if you're trying to run um, SFC slash scan now, which will verify the um, file signatures in an elevated command prompt, it will fail at 20% with an error that says could not perform the requested operation. Um, also, if you are using a network attached storage device, there is a problem right now. Uh, it says that after updating the latest uh, insider preview builds, you may have noticed that shared devices on your home network have disappeared from your home network folder. You may have also noticed your map network drives are not available. So if you change your network to private or enterprise, it should start working again. Um, that's the, the thing that's happening here. Apart from that, um, nothing much that I can say, nothing really uh, that I've noticed that is totally new or different. Uh, it is a good build, it is a nice build, um, works well, and um, I've got nothing much more to say about this. But um, at Microsoft Ignite, there were some uh, interesting uh, news about uh, the Redstone 2 uh, stuff and uh, including details of uh, some of the partners that they will actually talk about. One of the things about Redstone 2 um, is uh, some of the new features that will come, including the um, features where <clears throat> there will be a new Skype um, universal Windows platform, there will be a new Wi-Fi Direct thing. Um, there's, you know, not a lot of information, but they do talk about some of the new panels. Uh, kind of a updated settings panel will be here also. I've seen um, a um, kind of a shift of some of the uh, settings from the control panel into the settings panel, meaning that slowly our dependency on the control panel will slowly go away. <coughs> Uh, talk about when it's going to be released. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> when it's going to be released. Uh, no date, of course, but talk of a uh, spring update. So spring is, you know, pretty large. Could be March, could be April, May, could even be June. Of course, it all depends on what's going to happen. Of course, still talk about two updates next year. So uh, two big updates next year. There was also a demonstration on, of um, how the 
next Redstone 2 update might actually start uh, updating your machine and instead of updating in the process of you know right now if you did the anniversary update you kind of did a full Windows update and that is always a little tricky you know there's always a chance that something goes wrong so um, one of also the things that they've shown is um, how they will try to upgrade using Windows Update more in a fashion of like the cumulative updates that you have right now. So meaning that it's not a full reinstall, it's kind of an update of all the basic systems through Windows Update in order for it to work. So uh, these are a few things that um, we're going to see. Um, also increased compatibility um, between devices so if you have uh, some mobile devices like the Lumia phones and the Windows 10 operating system and Redstone 2 they're really gonna talk to each other in a much better way so it's interesting to see that even though we're not sure about Windows Phone we're uh, we're having details that there are things that are going to be peaked tweaked at the Windows Phone side also because there's talk of the uh, Windows Phone Redstone 2 update also so uh, kind of interesting kind of very interesting to, to to see all of that happen and you know i don't know if we'll have more information about but you know we're still f below kind of far away from redstone 2 so unless uh, we really start seeing some great new features um it's a far off thing right now so uh <clears throat> a nice build works fine no issues from what i see um, if you want to have the latest version, uh, both for mobile and for PC, you have to be in the fast ring and uh, just click the update button for the Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview or the Windows 10 Insider Preview because mine is the Pro here, but um, you can have it in the uh, regular version, uh, also home and so on. You have to be in the fast ring. And once again, I just want to say, because a lot of people, you know, I, I get so many of these uh, requests of, yeah, how do I get, you know, how do, do I become an insider and, um, you know, I want to ins ins install the insider bills on my machine. Um, you got to be careful. There are lots of bugs in these insider previews and that's why we are here to test it. Um, a lot of people are annoyed and basically if you're annoyed because you have errors, problems and uh, you had to reinstall Windows because you've been in the insider preview. You know, you've never, you don't understand what is the insider previews. It's not a free copy of Windows for just the fun of it. It's having the features before everybody else that can crash your computer. And that's being an insider. It's what the insider program is all about. We are here to help. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informing new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. If you've installed this uh, release 14.936, uh, why not share your experience of uh, what's happening on your machine, how it's going, and uh, hopefully you're having a cool insider build. Hope you enjoy our videos.